You guys, we're supposed to be on vacation right now visiting my family. But we couldn't resist, you guys. Habib just retired 29 and 0, the number one pound for pound fighter in the world after catching Justin Gaethje in a mounted triangle on Fight Island, you guys. We have to talk about this. This isn't work, this is respect. Check this out, so after a beautiful takedown in the second round, Justin throws a kick, Habib catches it, takes him down with a quick little double leg, turns the corner, takes the back. So Justin is here, Habib jumps on like the eagle that he is, puts both hooks in, at this point they go straight to the ground, let's back up. Mm -hmm. They go belly down because Justin does the right thing. Justin's gonna turn and try to get out, but he almost gets caught in the arm triangle, but his arm slips out. Immediately, Habib swims over this arm and isolates it perfectly in setup. And you guys, when I saw this right here, I was like, he's set up for a mounted triangle. No, he won't. He won't. You guys, he did. It was incredible. But to understand how amazing Habib's triangle was from the mount, you have to first understand the two variations. We have to take him to Chicago Eve, and we have to take him to New York. And then we can show them where Habib took us. This, this afternoon, it's still daytime, and we're doing a Gracie breakdown for a fight that happened today because it's on Fight Island. So check this out. Mm -hmm. First, take him to Chicago Eve. So yeah, we're so here. that's what you thought initially. I thought they were in Chicago. He was posting. And that's because we stop first in Chicago before shooting for the full triangle. And what that looks like is from here, um, I can post and I can end up in the triangle here. And that's a one shot. And the reason we call that the Chicago variation is because you don't go direct. You set yourself up by pinning the wrist to the ground. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Eve. So she pins it and then her foot lands on the My bicep. Foot lands, and then I can she hand hands off his it head, up. And then I can shoot him deep, hips up. Now it's possible that from here you can actually go straight for the choke from here. Or we may roll off to the side. Okay? Yes, absolutely. So that's Chicago. Let's show them New York. So now she's here. Another variation, you guys, that we love, especially, and this is closer to what Habib did, is when the hand can't get pinned to the ground, look, she brings the hand to the chest. She hips up. Watch the whip well, around. And by trying to push, he actually brings it in, which Boom. makes it easier to pin, right, from here. So now he goes for a direct, you can go for a direct shot here, go for the triangle. And if we roll off. Which is very possible that you can't finish on the mount. You shoot here squeeze and finish from the bottom so there's chicago there's the new york and then there's the dagestani variation that we just saw so check this out he was in the mount he was here and with the arm the key of all this you guys is this arm's isolation see how her arm is over my arm and she has my neck hug how do you know that's the key because that's the same as triangles from the guard because if this arm was on the inside and he goes to shoot the head leg around my neck around my wrist maybe she shoots around i can hide this arm and defend by coming out the back so this is the freedom arm. This is the isolating arm. This is the freedom arm. If this arm is in my control, I can free myself. Same as guard, roll a guard, please. Mm -hmm. So if we're down here, look, and this arm was inside and she goes for a 1.5 triangle, please. Look, mm -hmm. go shoot it, shoot it. I can escape, you guys see that? Because I control this arm. But if Eve pummels this arm to the outside, has it behind her back, sorry, go back to 1.5. Mm -hmm. And then she goes, watch my arm, I can't escape it, which is, so the key to every triangle is getting rid of one arm while keeping the other arm in your control. And that's why when I saw Habib hike up into that high mount with the arm isolated the way he did, I knew he was thinking mounted triangle, but I was like, no, we've never seen it from him. If this is the real deal, it's the perfect retirement submission. So let's check out what happened. So he had a great isolation. He thought about the mounted triangle, but then when he went for the New York very uh, the New York direct shot, he brought it to the chest, but his leg never penetrated fully deep. It kind of landed a calf deep right here. So because of that, he couldn't get the triangle. So he sits down in anticipation of this, the arm bar that he almost caught in the first round. Very similar, not identical. He almost caught it in the first round. So he was going to go for this. But with the, as soon as he sat off, Justin, knowing this was coming, bring the leg over, Justin sat up. And that's when he went right for the full lock up here, grabs his foot. And then Justin thought he was going to slam Habib because he has the power to do so. Which is very possible when someone's bigger than you. But instead he went for the other Let's go back. Let me show him what can happen. So if you don't have the leg grab, you can get picked up oh and get... Gosh. Boom! Full yes. knockout. We've seen it happen Rampage Jackson style. So from the lockout, what did he do? Mm -hmm. So he's grabbing his outside foot. He underhooks the leg. The, the leg here. So Boom. he can't pick him up. He's holding. It fell down. It's filling down. He's I'm tapping. trying to make sure that Henner doesn't pass that on <laughs> <laughs> On camera. You guys, he tapped two separate tap cycles. The ref didn't see it. So then eventually Justin passes out right here. Habib knows it. The ref tells him to stop. And he lets him go. Right. That was okay. tough. So that grabbing that of the watch. leg. So Habib grabbed his foot and he grabbed the underhook on Justin's calf area. And that's classic slam avoidance from a triangle. So important. He still got picked up about six maybe 12 inches off the ground, maybe a foot. His back was off the ground, but when you're on a mat in the UFC, you know it's not concrete. So 12 inches won't do it. The slam mm -hmm. won't do it. So he I stayed anchored. Uh, Justin tried to slam him out of that. It did nothing. And it just, tightens it up because of the angle. You dive into the choke even worse. Oof, 
You guys, it was so cool to see him go with such conviction and clarity from the mountain. It wasn't like he even waited. As soon as he mounted and missed the arm triangle, it was like wrist pin, wrist isolate, New York, failed, Dagestani, arm bar setup, homeboy sits up, lock up the leg, grab the foot, underhook, get slammed a little bit, smile about it, squeezing. And it was to the point where Justin was tapping the whole time. You saw Habib look at the ref and say, yo, he's yeah. tapping. But as we know in the UFC, you don't release the submission until the ref's hands make contact. This was Habib's last professional fight. As he said in his post-fight interview, his mom asked him not to come since the passing of his father and he has never fought without his father by his side. Mm -hmm. So he said this would be his last fight. Thank you, Habib, for the incredible career yeah. of just conviction and grappling and team. I know he's very much a wrestler from Dagestan and very much, you know, even Sambo background, but he's obviously trained with some incredible jiu-jitsu practitioners as well. And for the grappling world to see Habib go in there and with such conviction, take people down, impose his will, submit, knock out, choke, and just do it with such conviction. On that one single kick that Justin threw, Habib snatches it and turns it into a perfect takedown when Justin's only goal on the whole 25 minutes was to try to avoid getting taken to the ground. So what a way to solidify his position as Number one, pound for pound. I think he deserves it on the way out here. And, um, you know, no argument from this side of the equation. Congratulations, bro. And thank you for the incredible career, all the amazing displays of grappling and conviction and, and just will and work ethic, right? It was very clear, a very humble champion always. And it was very clear that, you know, Habib is the perfect example of hard work. There is no substitute, right? And, and people who know him have said that. There's no one who works harder than him, both in practice in the cage and to that point he could say man i'll go in the cage and i'm going to drown someone 25 minutes we're going to go all the way and i'm going to take him into deep waters and he had so much conviction in that that he often never had to go there right we had a second round classic mounted triangle finish um because of this conviction it's almost like the willingness to go 25 minutes 100 percent of the time almost all, always meant he didn't have to go 25 minutes which uh yeah number one pound for pound you guys no argument so congratulations and thank you habib and congratulations to his whole team on the incredible success along the years. Now, me and Eve are having a special event next weekend. Today's Saturday, tomorrow's Sunday. One week from tomorrow, we're doing a live two-hour super seminar on Zoom. A live self-defense seminar on Zoom. We know was, you're watching us and going, I want to do jujitsu in my living room, too. Yes. This is your chance. Well, this is your chance. And you don't need a partner. This is, can be solo or can be partnered. The point is, we have over 2,000 people already signed up for this live two-way video Zoom conference. And that's going down next Sunday, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. to 12 noon, Sunday morning Pacific Standard Time. If you want to join us, it's free. It's just a chance for us to connect and see you and you see us, especially if you're new to jujitsu and you're like, man, this looks really fun. I might want to get on this jujitsu train and learn some self-defense. I have you know, time and I'm at home and they're doing it on Zoom now, which we've never done and it's live. So if you're interested in this, please check it out, you guys. Co-ed men, women, invite anyone in your life who you think uh, would benefit from it. We're calling it Self-Defense 101, Gracie Jiu Jitsu. So if you're brand new, this is for you. If you're experienced, this is where you bring in someone you love and say, hey, honey, come try this out, husband, wife, and drag them into Jiu Jitsu in the comfort of their own home because we know they're probably scared to go to a Jiu Jitsu school pre or post COVID. Um, a lot of people just are very scared about the close contact and the, the nature of Jiu Jitsu, which is understandable because a lot of schools don't know how to teach in a safe manner. But this is an unintimidating way to learn and begin this journey in the comfort of your own home. We're very excited to have all you guys there. You have to email zoom at gracieuniversity.com to save your spot. As long as you email them and say, hey, I want to join the super seminar Sunday, November 1st, or sign me up for the seminar November 1st. You're good to go. We're going to send you the access codes to the Zoom meeting. You're going to join in and we're going to have the best time of our lives. Jiu-Jitsu careers in Zoom during COVID, guaranteed. Awesome. We all right, you guys. See you there next Sunday. Thank you guys. Congratulations. Hope you enjoyed the fight as much as we did and we'll see you in the next one.